Hi everyone, this is Fake Hair Mama. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I'm going to be reviewing Reese by Noriko in the color Creamy Toffee R. I've been wanting to try uh, just regular synthetic wig, wig fibers for a while now um, because they do last longer, four to six months with regular wear versus uh, two to three months with the heat resistant fibers. And to me that was very attractive to get more uh, value for my money. So before we get to Reese, I'm wearing the Razor Cut Shag by Tressalor in the color 24102 and the root is a 12. I've been having a lot of fun with this one. It's just a shake and go kind of style. Just gotta run my fingers through it and um, you're ready to go. Also cute with a head pan, headband or just kind of pinning it back with a barrette. Okay, so let's get Therese. If you don't know already, um, Noriko wigs are known for their permities. Um, this is definitely one of them that has permities. Um, so a lot of permities here. You'll see when I put it on, it does have a lot of volume up here. A lot of wig uh, reviews mention that it's uh, probably not a good choice for a first wig time wearer because it's takes a lot of you know getting used to unless you really want that big hair but if you've been suffering from hair loss um, it may be too much of a big change for you and I did have to I've been wearing wigs for a few months now and I also had to make adjustments just to kind of get used to it myself <laughs> so there is um, a small felt band in the front here and we just have a basic um, ear tabs there's no um, no felt here just the basic um, bra adjusters and uh, same thing with the nape no felt here um, lots of wefting which should help with the ventilation um, the Permatease does add a lot of warmth, so we'll see how warm that is for the summer. This will be my first summer uh, wearing wigs, so we'll see, you know, how hot it is. The, um, the fit, as far as the circumference, um, I there is some room for me to, you know, adjust it a little bit there. My circumference is 21 and 3 quarter inches. So it fit very well for me. Uh, the the Noriko wigs are known for a smaller cap. Um, so if your circumference is much larger than that, you may need to go to the larger size. But for me, it fit well. So lots of volume. <laughs> um, when I did wear it um, for the day around the house, I had to put the hairline back so the hair wouldn't be in my eyes because my forehead's only uh, four inches and the um, the bangs are actually five and a half inches. Um, but I didn't like the way the wig was falling. It just didn't look right because it wasn't meant to fall that way. So I may end up trimming them or just trying to part them on the side because the bottom layer is kind of... Uh, the right length for me. I just hate to um, trim them because they did do a nice job with the, um, you know, they're nice and wispy. So they did a very nice job with the rooting, very subtle, a lot of nice um, layers. The crown is um, six inches in length, and the nape is, um, again, a lot, little wispy and four inches long. Falls nicely against the neck, doesn't feel itchy at all. <laughs> because of the shape of my head, uh, my measurement from my hairline to 
um, the nape is 13 inches and with most of my wigs I have to take them in a little bit because um, I end up with a big air bubble here and that's definitely the case with this wig and actually it's um, more than other wigs that I've worn so I will have to make an adjustment there and as I said um, I did wear it around the house and you can you know comb down the volume but as I wore it throughout the day it just kind of poofed out a little bit <laughs> uh, so I found that I needed to um, do a little pinning back with it with some barrettes just to make it look a little more natural for me more of a casual look so just a personal preference also looks good with a headband again you could do some poofing up here with hairspray or other products I try not to use too many products in my wigs because they just tend to attract dirt more so if I can I'll just spritz it with water and try to style them that way but sometimes you just need a little bit of product to get the fibers to behave so I'm gonna take her outside and uh, see what she looks like in the Sun So it definitely has some shine going on in the sun. Going to need to use some dry shampoo, I think, to bring that down. So I hope you, this video was helpful for you. I know for me it's helpful to see um, a wig that I'm shopping for on different people, whether it's through videos or pictures and to see what it might look like on me because everybody's got different coloring or face shapes. And I'm also going to be posting um, another video on when I do make the adjustments up here for this one. So stay tuned. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.